G'day YouTube, Max Wright here, and today we're gonna to check out the Bitcoin price chart, do a little bit of technical analysis. Let me know in the comments below if you bought the dip recently. Let's find out if that's gonna be a good play or not. Let's get into it. Go ahead, smash that like button and hit that subscribe. So here we are on this chart, and look, what, what jumps out at you here? Long time uh, subscribers to this channel will be aware of this trend. These blue lines, right here. They represent the last Friday of every month. What's the last Friday of every month? It is when a, lot, a whole bunch of futures expire. And what we see is somewhere in between the blue lines, we get a high nearish the middle, nearish the middle, nearish the middle. The last two have just been smack dab to the day, middle of the two blue lines middle of the two blue lines. This one came a little bit late. Okay, where are the troughs? Within a day or two of the blue line, within three days of the blue line, within one day of the blue line. So this is suggesting we've got some more downside to go as we approach to this blue line, right? So here's what I'm saying. I am probably not um, the best YouTuber to follow for this reason. I, it's called contrarian for a reason, right? I'm a contrarian dude for a reason. I'm always doing different weird shit. i tell you what I'm looking for, and I've been looking for it for months. I'm looking for one perfect setup where I can do a stupid big bet, like leverage to the eyeballs, and just try and knock it out of the park. So this is a very risky thing, and I'm doing it the relatively small. I've got the big huddle thing over here. Yes, the huddle account's been there. I'm talking about just with my trading account and I'm just gonna put all my chips on the table and just hit a stupid home run. Uh, I've never shared that with you guys, so I'm just doing normal technical analysis for everybody else. But there's a really nice setup going here and I am, if things go the way I hope they go, then I'm gonna do a really, really, really aggressive bet. The most aggressive bet I've ever done in crypto. And this is the setup for it, right? So, what here's my dream 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 scenario I want to see I want to see the price continue to fall till we get to this blue line I would love it preference it does not go below this low here and maybe even go a little bit more horizontal to here what's that low at 50,000 no dream scenario it goes down even lower but that would be a little bit concerning but here's the thing it's 2021. I'm very, very, very confident at the end of the year, we're gonna, uh, it's gonna crush. The only thing about having this very aggressive bet with a lot of leverage, the only reason um, that it's a little bit scary is because of the leverage, right? If I just bought and hold, no leverage, I'm super confident, it doesn't matter if I do a bad buy, it's gonna come, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But I wanna do a really aggressive bet with leverage, which means I have to catch it at a point when it's not gonna come out and liquidate me and close me out of my highly leveraged bet. So I have to catch it when it's going, like at the beginning of a parabolic move and it just goes and never comes back. So that is what I'm looking for. I'll do little trades here and there in between, but that is what I'm looking for. And I think we have a really, really cool setup coming for that. Let's go through some of the arguments. So this is my dream scenario, right? We have this situation where we come back down here to the blue line somewhere. Remember, look at this consistency. Within a day or two, within a day or two, within a day or two. So what am I gonna do? Two or three days on the other side of this blue line, I'm hoping that I am set up perfectly. I'll need to wait and see, but we'll need to wait and see. And I, I, I will, there'll just be a big, big fun bet um, that I'm gonna be placing. All right, next, I wanna kick this over to the weekly. And I want to look at our 21 week moving average. So let's check this out. Uh oh. oh and my key, oh no, that worked great. Okay, here we are into the weekly. And the reason I've gone to the weekly is because I've got this blue line right here, my 21 week moving average. Now, this is awesome. The, the fact that we are so close, we haven't been this close in like three months, maybe even four, right? So for those of you who don't know, I haven't, I, I've, we talked about this on the channel a lot previously, long time subscribers will know where I'm going with this. Um, but if you, if you are new, the 21 week moving average is a really big deal. So let me jump in, this is 2017. This is 2017. 
right? And you, this line, the purple line, is the 21 week moving average. And you can see, so here we are, uh, October, we come down and we're within a few percentage points of the 21 week moving average. Uh, June, July, we're within a percentage, we're within a couple points of the 21 week moving average. Uh, here we are, March, within a few points of the 21 week moving average. Um, we're, we'll keep going back. Actually, we crossed over briefly there in March. Coming back here into January, we were really, really close. So throughout the, the massive 2017 bull run, there were four or five occasions. One, two, three, four. This one didn't quite get there. And that's one of my signals that we're coming to the end, by the way. So we had four instances where we came really, really close to the 21 week moving average. Now, the, the 21 week moving average just throughout the bull run, it just bounces off, it bounces off it. We have these big steep corrections, sometimes 30% down to it, and then we bounce off. So that is a great time to take a highly leveraged big bet when it gets down to the 21 week moving average. Okay, let's bring it into the present. We haven't had one of those yet. Now this could be a symptoms of the time, a lot more institutional money in, a lot more sophisticated investors. And what do you get as a result? Smarter people who buy the dips and don't let it crash. When there's a retail uh, market, it's all, oh my God, it's crashing, quick sell. And of course, that's the time to buy. So th th maybe this is a sign that maturing investors are coming in and it's reducing the volatility. That would make sense, right? So it has, as a result, it's been four, five, six months since we have been to the 21 week moving average, all right? So maybe we don't get there and I'm not, maybe I'm not expecting it to get all the way to there. And in fact, I look at this and I'm really impressed. See this from here to where it got to 51,000 just a couple days ago, it was a 25% extension above the 21 week moving average, just 25%. Never mind touching, I don't, it's been a hell of a, I don't think it's even 25% here. From here, where does that candle end? Nope, that's like 44%. We're gonna go all the way back, like a long time, like six, seven months before the Bitcoin price is within 25% extension of the 21 week moving average, right? So this is like, this is beautiful for me. It's like, okay, okay. I wasn't expecting it maybe to get all the way back there because of this more sophisticated market. This is the closest we've been in 25 months. This is a really good sign that we could be you know, getting ready for an explosive move. I like that. Step number one. Step number two, the, the blue lines I've already discussed. We know that's been the, the pattern of Bitcoin. Let me kick, we've done with that one. Kick it back to the daily. Um, the pattern with the blue lines which is the last Friday of the month, right? We are, it's, this is true to form again, middle of the month, that's our peak, start falling. Okay, let's see. My dream scenario is we come back down here. Look, we're only 25, well, we're not quite, we're about 30, 40% away from here. If we could come back down to here and end up somewhere here, end up at 50,000, 52,000, better still 45,000, but somewhere around there, come the 30th of April, I think the 2nd, 3rd of March, um, I'll be putting a big bet on. But what I want to see is this continued downtrend. Just, just, just stick to the pattern. It doesn't have to be steep down as my arrow there, but it has to be down a little. It could be there, it could be here. Come down a little and hit this blue line. Let's ride out the rest of April, which is unusual because April is often a really good month. But let's come down here, hit this last Friday, and then I want to see this big move up where I get to put, do this um, a highly leveraged bet. Where And to be fair, because I'm in the States, and the, I could do highly leverage on futures, but I could be bothered doing with that. I will just, I'll just bet a lot, probably at 5x on Kraken is what I will do. So it's not that highly leveraged, but it doesn't suck either. Um, and a 20%, you know, so, it's, so for me to be lose, to be liquidated and cashed out of that bet, that would be, I mean, a 20% drop. So, okay, there's that. So, okay, we got this, um, that's what I'm looking for. What else, what else do we want to know about that? Oh yeah, 
Step number three. So step number one, we're getting close to the 21 week moving average, love it. Step number two, the blue lines, last Friday of the month. Now, step number three, Bitcoin dominance. Okay, we have had this situation, I'm gonna make a whole other more uh, video about this, so make sure you subscribe to this channel right now, all right? But I'm very, very famous for a call I made here before you heard it from anywhere else that altcoin season was over. Okay, now let me tell you a little something. Here's like a, something that I really want everybody to understand. The YouTubers, and I, I'm in the chat rooms with all the other um, YouTube uh, influencers and got the guys with the big crypto channels. And so I know what a lot of them think, but I also I just understand psychology. They're, they're doing exactly what I expect people in their situation to do, right? They want to grow their channel. So do I. I do it as a little bit of a part-time hobby thing. But like some people are like, hey, this, this is my income. Like this is my, this is my shot. So yeah, they're really focused on it. Now, what are the, the videos that are getting a shit ton of views right now? Altcoins. Altcoin season. Name your altcoin. Massive pump. Technical analysis on some coin. You know, th you know, thirty down the list. These, um, these are the, the things that you guys that retail, that the average punter, the average re YouTube um, viewer, that's what they're clicking on, right? That is what the YouTubers are going to make videos about, right? Because that's what's gonna get them the most views, that's what's gonna grow their channel. I get it, totally normal, no harm, no foul. I'm not saying shame on them, I'm not. I totally get it, that is what they're doing. As an investor, you really need to understand that, that Everyone's going to be talking about altcoin, 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 altcoin. Why? Because it's been altcoin season for the last two months. Here it is. From, from this point up here at the top, all the way down to here. That is altcoin season. Boom. And it was a monster. And I predicted it. When we got up here, another famous call. I said, Guy, guys, um, you yeah, know, this Bitcoin extension has gone up all the way up to here. It blew up. I thought we were going to stall this blue one. I actually got that one wrong. It was a little one and then it kicked up and overshot. And when it got up to that yellow line here, which I predicted off of this top, I said, guys, it's gonna turn around. Now it's altcoin season. It's gonna be altcoin season. Get Find your favorite altcoins and get into them. And they have massively outperformed Bitcoin, massively. Well, here we are all the way at the bottom. We've just had altcoin season. A whole bunch of people have just made a stupid amount of money. I read an article the other day that somebody took their uh, stimulus check, which was, I don't even know, what was it, $1,200, $2,000, $600, I don't know, which, whatever the check was. They put it all in Doge, made a million dollars. All right, what's gonna happen when altcoin season is over and Bitcoin price starts coming back, uh, starts showing a little bit more dominance, what's gonna happen? That guy's gonna wanna take profits. He's gonna take some into cash, but he's like, crypto, uh, you know, uh, the 2021 bull run's not over, but altcoin season's over, it's gonna come flooding back into Bitcoin, right? So this is what I'm talking about, the setup of the perfect storm. We've had this massive two month altcoin season where the Bitcoin dominance went from 72 down to 52. And I mean, I predicted this exactly. I made videos about it here and I made videos about it when we were in this wedge that it was gonna break out of this green line and head down to this blue line, All right? Guys, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You're missing out on gold if you don't, All right? So all this stuff was being predicted. Now. Here, I'm not sure if we're exactly over yet. We might go down a little bit and it might overshoot like it did here. Uh, let's just take a quick look at whether or not, oh, and, oh, I would be really surprised if this overshoots because we've got this bottom, we got this bottom, we got this. This is a significant, 52, 53, all this area, this is a significant line of resistance and it coincides with this blue trend line. I'm gonna get me um, let me, let me, while we're, not that one, while we're here, let me just do this. Give me a horizontal line, because this is important. Right there. Okay. Thanks for bearing with me while I did that. Yeah, this line is huge. So now we've got this, we've got this, you know, double thing. Now listen, I was wrong up here, and it overshot. And so maybe altcoins overshoot, and we keep going down. Yeah, and that's, okay, that's, that's, that's the risk you get when you play the markets. But I love the fact that we're getting, getting all, we've got these two massive lines of support. Both of them, multi-year trend lines. This one dates back all the way back to you know, June or July of 2019. Yeah, this one, I mean, look at all this back here. This one goes back to July 2017. 
support, 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 support. This, uh, this horizontal trend line is even way more powerful than this blue line. So we are, in my opinion, very, very close to the end of altcoin season. We've had a great two month run. A lot of people have made a lot of money. They're gonna to wanna to take profits. Some are gonna take it, take cash and go and buy the Lambo. I get it. Some are gonna be like, no, let's, let's, let's keep the party moving, rotate into Bitcoin. And so you're gonna see a rotation from all the altcoin profits that people have made and rotate that into Bitcoin in the next, starting in the next few weeks is my prediction. Like come back here, it could be like about a two week period here where there's good stuff happening. It's gonna be about, it's gonna take about two weeks, which hello is gonna put us exactly in line with our blue line. 30th of April, we are 11 days away from 30th of April. So just keep an eye on this guys, I'm, my, my guess, Bitcoin dominance is just gonna hang out somewhere around here. The yellow line, the blue line is gonna wick down a little bit. We're gonna hang out here for a little bit and big rotation back into um, Bitcoin. It's gonna last for about two months, right? Maybe even three, like it's gonna be this. It's gonna be from here to here. But this time it's coming down from lower. It's coming from 52. Where are we gonna to get to? I don't know. I think it'll probably next stop will be this blue trend line here about 61. And if it breaks through, maybe it'll stop at this high at 62 or maybe all the way up to 72. And Bitcoin is going to go mental. Hence, I wanna have this big gamble, a big bet, big gamble, put all the chips on the table, not all the chips, but a lot of chips on the table with a highly leveraged Bitcoin bet. So I got those three things working towards. If this just if Bitcoin just plays nice for me and comes down here to somewhere, somewhere between 52 and, and the 21 week moving average, it is back up the truck time for me. I'm gonna have a big, big bet. And who knows how it goes, we'll see how it goes, but you guys will all be here to watch it with me. So guys, you can tell I'm pretty excited about this. There's a lot of things coming to fruition. Oh, and there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Let's take a look at the RSI here. The RSI is very neatly staying in this descending triangle. I warned you about this guys the other day, this descending triangle, this descending line here creating divergence, right? We've got the Bitcoin price in the same time going up. Meanwhile, we've got the RSI trending down divergence. And it's a huge clue that we're gonna come down. Now I said, look, it's just one of many factors. So I think up here I made a video. So oh, look, I'm very concerned about this RSI, but I think we're probably still more likely to go up than down. Turned out I was wrong, right? We came down, came down in a big way. Um, so, but that's okay. That gives me more form. It maintained this descending triangle. We got the RSI down to here. So yeah, it's some, this kind of runs out. Now the, this is, RSI is different to a price chart. Price charts can just go down forever. RSIs can't go down forever. They, this is a range between zero and 100. So when you, I mean, it can go lower than this green line, true, as you can see down here, but there is a lower limit. So when a descending triangle happens on the RSI, you're getting squeezed out. And where a descending triangle, you might, on a price chart, you might expect it to break down. On a descending triangle, especially if this happens, once price comes down to here, you might see the RSI get a little bit lower and it will break down. But the lower the RSI gets, the better. The more oversold it is, the better, um, because it's a greater indication that it's time for the price to flip around. So we've just got these three, four things lining up for us that hopefully all come together beautifully at the end of this month to where then we can see, and then the final piece of the puzzle is hopefully I want to see a trend line here. So let me give me a... I wanna see a line maybe this top, to this top, to this top, something like here. And if we come down to here, we go a few days later, and as we break this trend line, then right at that break of that trend line, we will see a massive green candle up here. Massive green candle. It might not be that trend line. I don't know, that's just a guess. We'll have to wait and see the price action. We've got two more weeks here. We might see some tops put in here, some bottoms put in here. We'll see what happens, right? So make sure you subscribe to this channel to find out what's gonna happen here. But there really looks like a really good chance for us to set up something 
really, really, really special. And thus the lower the price goes, the more special it's gonna be. The lower it goes, just shake out more weak hands, get more rookies to sell, let it go down. I got no problem with that. Let's keep going down. And then we got to come in here and there will be an opportunity which is just like mwah, mwah. So let's hope that comes. And I've been this big monster bet that I've been looking to do for four months. I finally get to place it and that'll be really fun. So guys, if you like this content, make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, and then whatever you do, let me know in the comments. Do you like this setup as much as me? Um, are you, have you been looking for one big killer trade where all the stars align and have you found it? So let me know in the comments below and let me know if you'll be following what I'm doing here in the next couple of weeks. Okay guys, much appreciated and I'll see you soon.